What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Try to come back at you with Season 2, Episode 3 of Succession, Hunting. Um, maybe we're going on a hunting trip this episode, guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. But we did figure out last episode that Connor is still running for president. So I am super, super excited to see that. I mean, we all were curious about if he was actually going to still be running for president. And he is, and I'm excited to see him campaign. I can maybe see like season three, season four, like just Connor, the Connor president arc. I think that would be one of the coolest things in the show. And um, I really do hope that happens. But obviously last episode, Kendall made a huge, huge move. Pretty much, I mean, he honestly tricked me. Um, we were under the impression that he was trying to save Walter he had been working really really hard and we I mean we could see that to kind of bring them back turn the corner because they had been struggling um but in the end we found out that he was working really really hard to shut them down because that's what his dad wanted him to do and that's all that Kendall is going to do right now is whatever his dad wants um pretty crazy though because we saw I think he literally fired like 400 people all at once and someone literally spit in his face like he is if people didn't already see him as a villain which they did like he is a super villain now like the, his reputation is just gone in the gutter um i'm excited because i think that shiv now is going to be at the company obviously her and her dad had that conversation in the first episode of the season where he said she's going to be the next CEO she wants to be and kind of broke down like a three, four year plan for her. And she was unsure she was going to play both sides. But after like an argument with Gil and Nate, she's off that team. And I think now her only option is to come to uh, Waystar. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting seeing her there. I don't think we've really seen her trying to compete with her brothers for the successor of the company yet like directly there so i wonder what position she'll step in as exactly right now because obviously uh roman and kendall were co-coos which is a very high position and kendall's even working inside his dad's office now because of what he's done what he did last episode so i think that bring like that tension that we get to see at like family gatherings and stuff that when they're always together into like an office environment is just going to be like take it to the next level honestly yeah as you like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description of the patreon the discord and all of our social medias as well as our po box and second channel and yeah we're going to right into season two episode three of succession hunting let's do it writing a biography. great Man's writing a biography Logan Roy. thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me sure uh but just to be clear uh, <laughs> in a meeting this is a precursor to see if I might be willing to meet. Absolutely. <laughs> His hair looks ridiculous. Scary, vindictive, paranoid, oh, okay. violent. Scary, vindictive. Wait, I'm sorry. No, 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 none of this. Uh, I'm not actually saying that yet. Oh, would you like to be on background? But this isn't. It's not a meeting. Because this isn't a meeting. This, you can't, that's not fair. That's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of meetings, and you have done a bunch of things. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> <laughs> thing is off the record, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Pick <laughs> <laughs> them up. Good? Yeah, let's do it. I like it. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> Don't be the fuck up. It's pathetic. What about you, Romulus? I fucking love it, but that's my honest opinion. <laughs> right. Okay, Four. Roman, you are the definition of a suck up. Romulus! It would be a reputational and financial disaster for all of us, right? No, I'm just gauging the room. Oh, it's nonetheless extremely exciting. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I, I like it. Good. Great. Let's uh, let's bag this elephant for death. They respect, you know. Let's bone this turkey. 
Why is he here? Because <laughs> he's the ATN oh. guy now. Yeah, he got promoted because of Shiv. Uh, but you did have one heavyweight that they liked. Old Boar Vidal. Oh, yeah. Frank? We were just asking about him. And your closest was just business Bad. friend. This is fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. Bad. Oh, fuck. I swear to God, Dad. If you bring him back, I am walking. No, you're not. You're all talk, Roman. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fine. I don't fucking care. Guest of fucking honor at the retreat. Let's try it. Good? Do that? You don't want to hunker? Nah, it's a morale booster. Where is it? Uh, hungry. <laughs> Hey, is there anyone in my house? What? Hey, uh, have you seen this? This is his pitch? Beta testing it before he Instagrams and enters the ideas primary. Maybe he's a genius. <laughs> he's beta testing his feed. Is he drinking a beer? He's, I've, he's trying to be like a every man's man. I'm just like you all. I'm Connor's babysitter now. You're out of play. This is a job. You get hers. You don't go shot. Who's she with? Tom. Tom. He just jumped on the couch. Oh, well, Pierce. I had Jerry on the phone. She thinks dad's gone woo woo, and I agree. Did your dad update you? Update you? <laughs> Did your dad update you? <laughs> I think it could be good. Yeah. I was Take thinking that too. Just said it weird. <laughs> No one is going to want to tackle a big, angry pufferfish bristling with dick. Tom, it's bad shit. It's an obs- They have a lot of alcohol back there. ...that either breaks us or takes half a decade to integrate. We need to stop him. So, talk to him in Hungary. Tom is not going to be able to say anything to Logan. Uh, oh, hello? Is this the replicant department? Yeah, my meat puppet has stopped working. Yeah. <laughs> Rally the resistance, deputy. Corporate retreat time. He's got to do a nice one. No, he's not gonna make Shiv proud. <laughs> Sounds like a horrible idea. I think Kendall knows how bad his dad is doing at the job. He just doesn't care. <laughs> private plane <laughs> it's like i'm in a he's sitting very white very wealthy <laughs> just walks away <laughs> roman doesn't want to talk it's to like him I mean, you too <laughs> the book the biography i told you to stop it i know sorry we were very clear I don't want it to come out oh got it well it, it will come out and actually in this nation yet uh, sadly, halt the publication of a book. <laughs> yeah, we can. That's crazy. We can intimidate names who might cooperate and get a little dicey. Everything. The writer. Pencil. Maybe for the next decade. Tooth coma. Leave it with us. Anyone who speaks to her. Is Greg. Greg. No one goes sniffing around my fucking panties. Well, I'm afraid that has suggest that she's met with someone close to you already. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Greg. <laughs> Ken, is it you? Is it me? Dad. Well, it's just historically speaking, well, when yeah. I'm in trade, it's usually you. <laughs> it's true. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dad. <laughs> you got me. Emails, company phones. Not a good time. No, Tom. no. Not a good time. <laughs> Some work of noble. <laughs> okay. Sandy and Stewie have got my nuts in a vice. But Frank, you've got the grease to slip them out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Frank. Frank. 
It's not been the same without you. It's been. <laughs> you did it. Hey. Hi. How are you? Uh, yeah, Connor. <laughs> no. Okay, please. Why? The family. I'm worried you're gonna humiliate. Oh, okay. Dad? Yeah. Dad wants to stop me. Well, tell him to get in line behind Bezos and the Clintons. <laughs> Please. Well, how about I make a counter offer? I'd like to make a. I'm guessing you haven't seen that film. Oh, he has. Yeah. Oh, you're at a loose end. Ship coming work for. No. No. What? No. 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 <laughs> Big. Big offer, Shiv. You'd run the whole shebang. And look, if Gil fired you, maybe you're um, a difficult hire right yeah. now. I'll come back and we'll shoot the shit. Oh. Hey, what's the... Okay, no mess. Sorry, I... Uh, I uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, I'd love an audience with the future first lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. Why does Shiv want to go? She had nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually has nothing to do. It's not gonna change Connor's mind. You're spending so much time hanging out with Kendall, the girl can start to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> On the friend level? Yeah. You worried about what you did in cruises? What we did? No. <laughs> Just what you did, Greg. Uh, no, I was gonna ask you about this Sam guy. Do you know him? Ratbucker Sam. You know he background checked me before I started dating Shiv? Yeah, so what's his, what, what's his, or is he, like, what's his competency? <laughs> is, he, is, is he nice? You're asking about the moral character of a man named Ratbucker Sam? He is a fucking p he is. Yeah. What's up, Greg? We've been through a bit, right? Oh, he's going to tell him. Can I trust you? <laughs> yes, of course you can trust me. To a point. <laughs> so you know how... Logan's mad. Someone talked to his biographer. Greg. So, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> and we'll find out the person email from a private email. Oh, fuck, man. Really? Oh, Logan? He might kill you. <laughs> Put that in the locker, man. And don't tell anyone. And pray that you can trust me because you just handed me a... <laughs> Bro. Egg. Buddy, trust no one ever. Okay. Wise words. No, we're not having me here. I have Tom doesn't tell. The Greg sort of snitched on Tom earlier, so. Okay. Thank you, Shiv. Hi. Hmm. Chris. Shiv. And you? Uh oh, okay. here we go. Here we go again. Okay. What? You didn't feel that tension between oh, yeah. that dude and Shiv? Yeah. I thought I felt it between Willa and him. One of them. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something. Hunting difficult. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Hunting. Difficult. <laughs> Private. Hello. You have Roman. And how are you? Oh, yeah? Then what would that be? <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Come on. You full of shit. Well, I know you. Why the fuck are you? I'm. I don't think the person that talked is Greg. It can be someone else. It can be someone else, and Greg's just thinking that. Mammal. I think. Oh, I'm starting to think maybe Roman talked to that that person. Oh yeah, maybe it was because of uh, what he was saying to <laughs> his girlfriend, like how he's gonna say stuff about Kendall. Okay, although we also thought it could be good for you to talk to him. 
They just want to use Tom. Came from old trusted right. colleagues. That's smart. Carl, that's interesting. Should we do it? <laughs> um, it's not a big deal, really. Who actually says it? No. <laughs> family, and he does treat family differently. Yeah. Sure. None of them want to tell <laughs> Logan that it's a bad idea. That was joshing. In a way, that's a testament to your close friend. Articulate, strong leader. <laughs> Articulate. Oh, you're so kind. You know, flattered. I'll just fucking walk right into the machine gun nest. Also, I spoke to Shiv, and I know she asked you to. <laughs> <laughs> and she asks, yeah. You're fucked, Tom. You gotta talk to him. On the battlefield. It's also commonly where they're killed, Jerry. Pull back up. Oh gosh, where's Tom? He's gonna just be just pissing and shitting while he does it. Like, hey, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Some of these fuckers are trying to kill this fucking pigmies! Fucking lice! And time for Tom to enter. So I should probably go. Stay. You know, we need to boost one out. Okay, great. Yeah, I can feel it rising. It's just not a good time. Just, uh, family heads up just to just to uh, let you know that uh, in a moment I might say something, but not to worry because it's not real. What? But that's because they're scared. Like they think of me as kind of brave, which I would be if I needed to be. But oh, God, <laughs> Tom! A toast. Uh, musicians! Pianissimo. Uh, no. Nope. Well, you will one day. <laughs> Here's hoping. Uh... He, dude, he looks like, like, like a cartoon. Hey, Tom. Just checking you talk to him. Don't let me down, soldier. Did she just tell this guy that Tom's just a guy that she work that works for her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just had to make sure I heard that right. Oh. <laughs> what a fucking crazy person, bro. I'm not on a recon for some of your old stuck up pals. Logan. I try not to leave fences broken. You're a fucking creep. Hmm? I mean, you, you went for three jobs, you didn't get any of them. Your vineyard was a write-off, and now your trophy is sucking some waiter's dick in Palermo, so now you come crawling back like a fucking worm. Jeez. Where the fuck did this come from? I thought you needed Frank. Here. Ken. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone has spoken... To Michelle Pencil. Great. <laughs> you got rats on this ship. And Pierce. What's going on? Hmm? Tom? Yes? Okay. Sh should we get on the speakerphone and ask her? Oh, come on. Look, please. What the fuck? Everyone. Phones on the table. Company he's checking phones, bro. Phones on the table. Now. I feel like he's going to see something on Roman. Ro Roman. It oh. was Roman, bro. Did you and your fragile ego talk to Pansel? Damn. No. Oh, sorry. No. Logan, why don't we switch the strategy? Here's a strategy, oh. Tom. Why don't you pipe down until you come and tell me I've got a grandson coming? Hmm? Or are you shooting blanks? Oh. He's in man mode right now. I do. I do. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Carl. Well, that's a lot of <clears throat> factors, and but like I like, I like bore on the floor over there. <laughs> Jerry, stand up. Stand up. Pierce. You played it before. No. He played it before. What is this? To be perfectly honest, I've I've had a few doubts. Honesty. You see, honesty. Greg, stand up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could. I, I've had some doubts too. Oh, 
fucking doubt it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it for real, Dad. I Stand the fuck up. Oh. Um. Okay. Arms around Ken. Kendall took a call from the biographer. We all got a call, Rome. Okay. Yes, but you see, he seemed like he wanted to actually to smoke you out for Dad. What? Fuck you! Why do you get to smoke me out? I'm smoking you out. What did you tell us about your mystery call? Mm. Oh my god, bro. Logan and Kendall are fucking crazy together. Seriously? Yeah, it's a game, boy. Get on the floor, Tom. What is going on? Oh, this is some crazy shit. Look at Colt. Who just left? One of the waiters. It's just the people, like the company in here now. On the count of three, the last big eat a sausage is the most. What? That doesn't seem like a very good no, Tom knows. He does. Hey, crawl in a circle and close your eyes. If Tom comes in last, I think he'll squeal. Dude, this is fucked. It's cringe. <laughs> what is that dude's issue, the piss bucket guy? He said, that's my fucking sausage. Okay, Roman. Oh shit. Oh. oh, here we go. Jeter. Now these days actually the real news comes from comedians. Wow. I'm not crazy to hear the next thing you're going to say. Can I just kiss you? Jeez, ship. trying to land the deal. I was trying to help. I I thought it would be a nice surprise. You have screwed the pooch, Roman. You're a moron. Ugh. Bore on the <gasps> Oh I'm just saying. Fuck you. I am not a moron, Dad. How much is a gallon of milk? <laughs> of milk. I don't know. I mean, who the fuck knows that? Literally, no one knows. Who gives a shit? Ray! Yeah. How much is a gallon of milk? Uh, uh well, I mean, like, regular milk? Or... It's like when the late shows have, like, a celebrity on and ask them how much groceries are. They just haven't, they're so out of touch with what shit costs. I will win. Logan, a little, a little minion. Yeah, dude. I mean, 
I don't know what else he could do. He's completely just in control by his dad right now. It's crazy to see them work together. Hey, Drew. It's quite a night. I don't know about you guys, but I had one too many. I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Yeah. You're on the floor eating a sausage. Morning, Tom. <laughs> he stole my sausage. Oh, she yeah, offered him a sausage. I just heard him shout back so tall. Oh. It was Mo. Mo. Mo's like the person that was on their deathbed, right? Mo passed away. Yep. Last night. What happened? I send uh, Sam over. Let's crack his email. I don't know what the fuck he's been saying. Jeez. Thanks, man. We're besties. I'm I'm proud of Tom for not ratting on him. Yeah. I actually thought he was going to. He had a huge opportunity to do it. Pretty tough. Fill you in? He went all through that and Shiv just got laid by um, one of Willa's actor friends. But maybe I should have a bit more input into team tactics. <laughs> okay. So, how was your weekend? Me? <laughs> <laughs> how was your weekend? Oh, dude, it's so weird. Poor Tom. I don't think he wants to have an open relationship with her. No, he doesn't want to. But that's what they have. Still feels like wrong when she does it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not cool. But they just, they don't have, I've just, they don't have a real relationship. Tom, I the woodwork and the surgeons. Oh, yeah? Coming from where? Oh, the front row, cheap seats, and every part. What are you doing at the moment? I'm free. Set a date. It's time to bring. Hmm. Finally. I mean, that episode was absolutely absurd. That was like one of the craziest event type things that we've seen so far i mean like I, L logan was has been bad but that was just i feel like a whole different level he was it's, it, it was like inhumane when he was he was i mean he was bore on the floor he was treating yeah. them like animals um trying to figure out who betrayed him and yeah it was just i felt bad even though like i, I don't want to keep reiterating that they're, they're all shitty people but i yeah i felt bad that um like seeing Tom and Greg down there and Greg like, bro, please do not tell him mm -hmm. that I spoke to this lady uh, because I, I didn't think he deserved to, to cause he, he would have got torn a new one. Um, but I, I also want to say that I think during like that whole kind of sequence, I thought that um, Roman or uh, Kieran Calkins acting was like unbelievable during that when he was like, when they were looking through his phone, he's like, he's like, come on, man, please like, don't fuck like when they found out that he uh, contacted that woman and kind of ruined the whole deal. Um, I was like, dude, I I, f I can feel like the like the tension and like the regret in his in his voice. So um, I wanted to point that out. But yeah, just uh, a very uncomfortable feeling during that whole thing. I just I just felt weird the whole time. Yeah, I mean, the actors make it very easy to watch this show. They're all fantastic. It's just crazy to see uh, Logan and Kendall together now. I mean, they're just like one entity, I feel like. Like, Logan, or Kendall's not his own person. He's just like... An extension of yeah, him. Yeah, Logan's second head. Um, 
I mean, he would just straight up took Roman's phone. Like, he was snitching on everyone. Like, I don't know. Like, they, the people have to think, like, Logan's got to have some something on Kendall. Like, he is just, it's just crazy at this point how much he just stands for his father. I mean, he has to, though, which is sad. I don't know what his decisions would be if he wasn't so, like, around his father's uh finger like would he go he would probably think like these ideas are stupid because every single person besides logan thinks it's these are bad ideas yeah i mean kendall's the original like he's the original one to to speak up and like say something to logan all of season one it was all him and now that kendall's gone i feel like everybody else is like finally realizing like oh shit maybe we need to say something but uh I, I still f- honestly believe, like, even though he is putting Shiv into this position, hyping Shiv up to be the next CEO, I think he is just going to see what Kendall is becoming because of what he's done to him. And like I've said before, he's just going to turn Kendall into him, basically just in another version of him. I mean, he's he's getting pretty close already, like, with especially how he behaved in this episode. Um and I, I can just very easily see um, Logan like getting the position ready and telling Shiv that it's going to be hers. And then just at the last second being like, actually, it's Kendall's. It's always been Kendall's. And for some reason, I can also see Kendall. Like, I don't think he wants that right now because he just is not himself and just listening to whatever his dad says. But I mean, at the beginning of the show, he wanted that position too. Like, that's what he was fighting for. He wanted to take over Waystar. And I think if his dad, like, organically offers him that position, he's going to want to take it. Yeah, as you like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out our links in the description. Got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our PL Box and Second Channel. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 2, Episode 4 of Succession. Peace out.